right, so now that we cleaned up our Salesforce database, we'll want to be able to pull in any of our leads and contacts who we want to bring into Pardot. So the best way to do that is to go over into your reports area, and we're going to create a new report. Within this report, I'm first going to do my leads, and so I'm going to do leads and create. And for me, the main thing that I want to do is I want to bring in all leads all time, but I want to make sure that they do have an email address. If they don't have an email address, obviously we can't bring them into Pardot. You have to have an email address. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my fields area because I want to add a filter to make sure everyone has an email address. And I'm going to grab email and I'm going to say my email contains an at symbol. I'm going to hit OK. So here's everyone in my database that, that are leads um, that I'm gonna go ahead and bring into Pardot. So what I would do is I would hit Run Report, and then I'm going to Export, and I wanna make sure I'm exporting as a CSV file, and then I would export my database. And we were going to do the same thing for contacts. Now, there might be some people in your instance who you don't want to bring in even if they do have a um, email address so again make sure that you are only bringing in the people that you want with email addresses again for me I want to bring in all contacts all time and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the at email I'm gonna filter with the email I'm gonna put contains and then the at symbol. Hit okay. So we can have all of our prospects here who have an email, I should say all of my contacts. Same thing, run report, and then I could go ahead and export these contacts as a CSV file. Again, you don't have to bring everyone in, bring in only the people uh, who you've cleaned up that you want to market to. Um, you can run more filters within Salesforce, but I just wanted to show you a quick way that we can grab both our leads and contacts as a CSV file so we can go ahead and import them into Pardot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and import our leads and contacts that we just pulled from our Salesforce account. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the administration area. We're going to go down to import and then prospects. There's going to be some of you with older Pardot accounts where you can only have one prospect with one email address. About eight months ago, Pardot started switching over where all new Pardot accounts, they can allow multiple prospects with the same email address. So in terms, you can practically have duplicates in Pardot. Um, all older accounts, you are able to move over to the new system where you can have multiple prospects with multiple email addresses. Uh, one of the things that you would do is you would go over to your cogwheel and set settings and if I jump over to my settings you're gonna see right below here allow multiple prospects with the same email address right now I have mine disabled um, I could learn how to enable it and basically what that does is it does give us the um, ability to have multiple prospects with the same email address uh, but when we go to our import process uh, we can also import people make duplicates or we can import people and have them attached by their CRM ID or we can import people and have them match or attach by their email address. So if we don't want those duplicates, again, all new Pardot accounts are being enabled with multiple prospects with the same email address, but a lot of older accounts, you have the choice if you want to go to this new system. Honestly, unless you have a use case for duplicates in your system, save yourself the hassle. Do not enable this if you're on an older Pardot account. And then for those of you that are on a new Pardot account where you have the ability to make duplicates, uh, really make sure when you're importing um, multiple lists that you're either attaching by the CRM ID or we're attaching by the email address. I'm gonna do two separate videos, one that's gonna show for the older Pardot instances, how to do an import, and then I'm gonna do a second video following up on how to do an import for those uh, instances where you're allowed to have duplicates. 
So jumping back to our import area, these are for people who do not have multiple prospects with the same email address. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and check this compliance. Basically what this compliance says is, you know, the people who were importing, uh, they did go ahead and raise their hand and say, yes, I want a communication from this company. Um, so again, we're basically checking this compliance saying, these prospects did say they want communication with us. Definitely read their permission-based marketing policy. Uh, Pardot is very strict on their uh, permission-based marketing policy, and we can go into more detail when we're sending off emails that we need to stay below a 10% bounce rule, etc. So let's go ahead and grab our file. There's two ways we can grab files. One, we can upload a file and grab the one we just pulled, or two, they do have a drag and drop interface. So if I go and find my finder and let's go to my downloads and I wanna get my leads, I can just drag and drop it right into here. Great, so I went ahead and it verified that we can move forward. I'm gonna hit next. And so this is where we have to map our fields. We have the header row of the CSV file the first row of the CSV file, and then what field do we want to map it to within Pardot? So I'm going to go ahead and skip lead owner. And honestly, with our very first import, what we're trying to do is we're trying to match these prospects to the leads that we have in Salesforce already. So the only thing we really need is email address because everything else is going to go ahead and map over. So if I put do not import, on the rest of these, and I just map to my email address, we're still gonna get all of the fields that we currently have within Pardot brought in on these prospects. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And so each time we do an import, we will have to assign it to a campaign because these are our first contacts and leads from Salesforce. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new campaign. And this campaign is going to be Salesforce. And I'm actually gonna use the same campaign for anyone who might automatically sync when I put them in Salesforce that come into Pardot. So I know all of these leads or contacts originated in Pardot. So I'm gonna go ahead and name it Salesforce. I'm not gonna associate a cost. I'm not gonna add tags or an archive date because this is going to be an ongoing. So I'm gonna go ahead and create campaign. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add that campaign, Salesforce and I'm gonna hit next. Now we have a couple of actions here and I'm gonna go into details on each of these actions. We have the ability to import prospects and add them to a list within Pardot. If we don't already have a list made, that's okay. We can do it along this process. We can also import prospects and remove them from a list that might already be in Pardot. To be honest, I've never used this uh, action here, so I'm sure there is a use case somewhere, I just haven't run into that use case yet. We can import our prospects and globally opt them out. Again, really make sure that you wanna use this option. Uh, the only time I've used this option is I'm helping one of my clients move over from another system such as Marketo or HubSpot. I'm gonna grab their opt-out list from the other system and I'm gonna import them and I'm gonna globally opt them out. I don't want somehow in the future those prospects coming in and getting email from my client when they've already raised their hand and said, hey, I don't wanna receive emails from you anymore. So I really wanna protect them. Other than that, I have not used this feature unless these are people who have already said, do not email me. We also have the option of just importing prospects. This doesn't add them to any lists. Uh, we can make our lists later and do segmentation rules, for instance, to bring these people into a particular list. This is a great option if you're bringing in all of these leads and contacts, or maybe you're in another system and you're bringing them in initially, and you don't want them to go into any particular list, you're gonna segment them out later so we could just import all prospects. Um, I am going to jump up to this first action here because I wanna show you how to import your prospects and also add them to a list right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this option. And then the very last thing below here, 
undelete matching prospects found in the recycle bin during this import. For our initial import, we won't have to worry about this, but let's say in the future, you've uh, went ahead and pushed a whole bunch of cold prospects into your recycle bin because they just weren't active. And then you went to a trade show. Um, and maybe you might have some people who visited you at your booth in your trade show and they signed up on your list. So we wanna go ahead and make sure that if those people in this trade show list that I have are in the recycle bin, I wanna go ahead and bring them back in because they did express interest at this trade show. So I would check this to make sure anyone who might be in the recycle bin, I wanna bring them back in because they have shown interest. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this unchecked and then I'm gonna hit next. Great, so here we can choose a list if we already have a list of people we wanna bring in, or we can go ahead and create a new list. For right now, I'm just gonna do leads, import, Salesforce. I'm not gonna put an archive date, a public list, we'll talk more in detail about public list, but basically it displays it in the preference center. I don't want this to be displayed in my preference center. I don't want anyone adding themselves to this list. And then CR invisible, this means, do you want this list visible within Salesforce so people can, say your sales team can add your contacts or your leads directly onto this list within Salesforce? I'm not going to make it CR invisible. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save list. And you'll notice that we have lead to import Salesforce. We can add these uh, prospects to multiple lists. So let's say I also wanna add them to my newsletter list. I can go ahead and select that monthly newsletter. So I'm gonna import these leads and I wanna make sure that I know that they are my leads import from Salesforce and I wanna add them to my monthly newsletter. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. I'm gonna check everything over. So right here I know that the header row is the email. I'm just importing the first row because I'm doing that initial sync. Um, once Pardot and Salesforce find these leads, uh, it will pull in all the other information, such as first name, last name, all of the default fields in Pardot will pull in automatically. And here we can see our import details. So this is the file we're importing. We're attaching it to the Salesforce campaign. The action, we're gonna go ahead and add them onto two different lists. We didn't add any tags, and we're also gonna ignore any matching prospects found in the recycle bin. And I'm gonna hit confirm and save. Perfect, so Parda is now going to upload these prospects. Uh, we can see our status right here is waiting. When we're done, we'll be able to see all new prospects that were created or anyone who was updated. So um, when Pardot is done importing and everything has synced, you will get an email that says, great, your import was successful. It will also let you know if Pardot couldn't import any of our leads for any particular reason, such as maybe they didn't have an email address or it was an account-based address, such as info at kellymetter.com. Uh, Pardot does not allow account-based email addresses. I do have a link within this module training of all email addresses that Pardot will not allow. Uh, one thing to note, in the future, if your business relies on HR at or info at or admin at domain.com, you can connect with Pardot and ask for this feature to be removed. So that way you can import uh, these role-based or account-based email addresses. Again, you have to prove your use case. Pardot can lift that rule for you. If again, you can show your use case for why you need to email these account slash role-based email addresses. Addresses. All right, so now that our import is complete, I can look back here and see that it went ahead and it created 23 new prospects and it did update one prospect. That's probably my own prospect record. No, our sample lead record. So our sample lead record was already in the system um, and it did update it here. But if we go back to our 23 newly created uh, prospects, again, we only imported the email address, but if we look at it, we can see that it went ahead and added uh, their full name here. So I could go into Mr. Jack Rogers and I can see that his company is the Burlington Textiles Corp, his email address, his name, his title, his country, his address. Again, these are all uh, default fields within Pardot and Salesforce, so it went ahead and it brought it in for us. Um, 
we didn't bring in any of the custom fields because he didn't have any data within his custom fields. So that's one thing to note. If you want it to go ahead and bring in custom fields, make sure one, there's data on those custom fields and two, that they're already within the system. Next thing to check is let's make sure that it went ahead and added these prospects to our two lists that we added them to. So if I go to our marketing tab and then I go down to segmentation and lists, we're gonna have our two lists. We're gonna have our leads import from Salesforce, which is right here. So if I go onto this list, we'll see that all of our leads are imported. It went ahead and connected with the Salesforce record here. We can see that by the cloud being next to it. Uh, one of the things to note as well, if you see the little red guy, that just means there hasn't been activity yet on this prospect. As we email these prospects and they open up an email, click through on an email, go to our website, um, we will be able to see activity and this red person will then turn into a green person. And I'm gonna jump back just to make sure that it did add these leads into our monthly newsletter. Perfect, so we know that this import worked great. Uh, you can go ahead and do the same steps for your contacts and any other prospects who you may wanna put into your Pardot system.